welcome back to my channel so i wanted to film a video today and i don't know what i want to do today but i do definitely want to get ready it was raining this morning here in la but now it's the sun's coming out so i don't know this weather is bipolar as crazy doesn't even know what it wants so anyways went ahead and already applied my moisturizer then i'm going with the blurring primer uh, from CoverFX. I actually wanted to try the this other one that they have. I forgot the name of it. I have to go through my stuff and find it, but I definitely will try it in another video. It's to make you look dewy. So yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover up these pores and apply this wherever I feel like I have my pores popping out, any little cracks or anything, just to make sure that the face is nicely primed. So you can definitely go ahead and apply this all over the face if you like. I really just like to concentrate on the problem areas, like where the pores are at. Um, and then whatever I have left, I kind of like to spread it around and that's about it. But I don't like to go too crazy with primers, so yeah. Oh, my piercing wants to pop out. All right. So let me know if you guys are getting sick because obviously the weather is crazy and I know a lot of people are getting sick and so far i think all three of my kids are sick um started with one then the next one and then the next one and it's just like a chain reaction these kids get sick like there's no tomorrow thankfully knock on wood i haven't got sick and i'm hoping i don't i kind of do feel like i have a little cough but ugh, i hope not so i'm using the estee La lauder double wear and i'm in the color 3w1 i forget to um write that down when i put the information on the box but yeah so just gonna apply a little bit of my uh jar cosmetics uh slay all day and this is in the color um, the color the scent watermelon it smells really good definitely check them out i don't like to repeat myself when i have discount codes because i feel like that's annoying but definitely check out the bottom bar with all the discount codes that i have because are interested in using any of my codes it means a lot it helps me out a lot because you guys know this is like my job so if you guys use it i definitely do get like a commission out of it but you guys get a discount so it's a win-win situation so yeah if not it's fine you guys can definitely don't have to use my codes so i'm just going to apply this all over the face so what are you guys' plans for the weekend? I know we are having a long weekend, um, but the kids are staying home on Monday. And it just, I mean, I like when they stay home, but it's just that they're, they don't let me relax, to be honest with you guys. So, estos niños. So I want to make sure that the most coverage that I get, it's on my cheeks. I really like having full coverage on my cheeks. I don't really mind my forehead because I do go ahead and apply um, bronzer and all that. But mostly I want the coverage to be on my cheeks. So I do go make sure that I do cover them up really good. And then my nose as well. So far, I have been loving this foundation. Um, I did get a comment. Someone tell me that once they tried this foundation, they never, like, this is like their holy grail. This is like the only foundation that they use. So, yeah. Um, so far, I've been loving it. I think I'm I halfway through that foundation, I think. Oh, I got it on my eyebrow. No. Okay, so I'm just going to run this here. And then whatever I have left, I kind of like to go back on my cheeks. Maybe it's a little too much, but I kind of like to have that coverage on my cheeks for some reason. I don't know. And I do have a lot in my hand, so I'm going to put some of it back to the bottle. Yeah, that should be fine. And of course, you don't want to forget the eyes. I use this as a primer. I do want to go ahead and buy some eye primers because I remember back in the day, I used to use a lot of eye primer. And my looks were bomb so i might look into getting a primer i know peace louise has a good primer i don't know let me know what primer you guys use maybe i can try those out but yeah so i am just going to cover everything make sure that everything's really nice and blended i got it in my mouth but it's okay 
All right. So for concealer, I am using the um, Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, the multi sculpting one, and I'm in the color Vanilla. And I'm going to apply this under the eyes. So I basically just use this. You guys know if you guys follow me on my channel. I know we have new subscribers. Um, I use this just to brighten under the eyes and, you know, the areas where I apply it. I don't really use it to cover anything because you guys can see I don't really have a lot to cover. But I just like to brighten under the eyes and, you know, whatever I wanted to bring out. I do not really like to do... Um, contouring with the concealers or anything like that i feel like i just am putting too much stuff on my face so i kind of skip it i just do bronzer and that's it i don't really like to do cream contouring i feel like it's just that's just me you know i feel like it's a lot of product on my face and i'm oily so i do not want to be looking crazy so yeah so i'm just going to blend this out and I'm using that e.l.f. sponge that I tell you guys that I really love. I want to try to change it up and try something different. So I might do that. But I just feel like this sponge it just works amazing. So yeah. So I'm just blending everything out. Let me know if you guys want to see a contouring video. I mean, like I said, I'm really contour. But a lot of you guys have been asking that you guys really like how I do my face. And that you guys have a round face as well. So, I don't know. I, I even said I don't think I've been doing it right. So, yeah. Oh my god, and it's almost Valentine's Day. Are you guys, like, excited? What are you guys doing? Any plans? I, obviously... You know, it's on a Thursday and everybody has to work. So it's a little more hard. So a lot of people are going to definitely celebrate it on the weekend. And restaurants get so crazy. It's not even funny. So I know a lot of people are going to celebrate it before. Maybe even this weekend people are going to start doing stuff. Or they're going to wait the week after just to avoid the lines. Because honestly, I don't like waiting in line. So... But yeah, so I'm just applying um, the Peach Perfect Setting Powder. You guys might like this powder. I'm almost done with it. I do have a backup, so I'm going to have to definitely go and get me two more just to have backups. So I like to use a sponge. Uh, this is a beauty sponge. To set my nose and, you know, anywhere that I can seal. Then I just go back with a brush and do the rest of my face. But my nose is where I usually get oily. So I like to concentrate taking my time and applying the product onto my forehead. And to my face and around my nose. Wherever I get oily, that's where I take my time. So I don't. And I, it really works for me because at the end, in the nighttime, like when I'm getting ready to go to bed and I have to wash my face. I definitely don't want to do it because my face looks like I just recently did my makeup. So... And then I'm like, no, waste of makeup. So I'm using a Morphe E1. Uh, I do have a discount code. I know I wasn't going to mention it, but like I said, I do have discount codes. You guys can definitely check them out. I will list everything down below. Um, it's pretty great for some money off. Mostly all my codes are pretty great. So accept. Let me see. Bella me had to change my um, discount code because I think somebody was, somebody put it on Groupon or something and that they're, you're not supposed to, you're not allowed to do that. I was like okay that was not me but they still had to change my code i don't even know how they knew about that and i didn't even i don't be you know keeping up with my code so i got an email from the girl she's like oh we're gonna have to change your code because you're you're we found your code in groupon and that's not okay and i don't know what the hell so i don't know it's like does it even matter like people are just using it anyway so it doesn't really matter so i don't even know if the code still works anyways so, yeah. so I'm just going to bring it down to my neck as well. There you go. And then I kind of dumped some powder here. So I put it back. Alright. So after that, I really like to apply my bronzer and my blush. I'm going with my Sully Vuitton. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. From Morphe. You guys know I really like this. Um. I've been using it on and off because I kind of want to give you guys like variety of products that I use. But I always want to go back to it because I like the color and it just looks good. 
So I like to mix both and I'm using another Morphe um, brush. This one stays from the Christmas collection, I don't remember. I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks. Oh, I forgot to blend this over here. You guys didn't even tell me. And then I kind of do the temples as well. So I'm just going to, I'm just making my face appear slimmer. I mean, you know, it's really round. Uh, especially around the jawline. Like, I wish that in real life I just didn't have, like, the double chin and stuff. But with this we can definitely do that fix it and just make up our face appear a little bit slim you know we can mask it and then just bring it down and then just go back with the same brush or your brush and just kind of blend everything out so there's no harsh lines or it's just not too harsh because sometimes I do forget and it does look really harsh. Okay. A lot of people ask me about my nose contouring. I don't know how to nose contour. I just do what I feel like looks good to me. I use the Morphe E55 brush to contour my nose and it looks like this. It looks like a paintbrush. I just feel like it's the nice size just to kind of contour. So I mix these two colors together tap the axis and then I kind of just I can see where I'm supposed to contour there's days where I have a good contour day and sometimes I have a bad contour day so it just depends so I kind of just like to follow the line to make my nose appear slimmer and then I kind of like to cut it here so I kind of try to make this part disappear for my nose so it doesn't look droopy because my nose, I feel like my nose is droopy. I have a mixture of my dad and my mom's nose, I feel. And, you know, honestly, I, I like my nose. I don't mind it, you know. It's not a big nose. It's not a crazy nose or anything like that. But with makeup, you can definitely fix it. Or you can go the more drastic way and just get plastic surgery but i don't think i would ever want to do my nose i'm scared of that it just looks horrible how they have to break your nose and all that i'm passing on that for now <laughs> i'm like no it's not that bad so okay and then i kind of apply a little bit of the powder here so i'll let that sit for a bit And guess what? We're waiting for the freaking UPS guy again and he hasn't came. It is 12.01 and still nothing. And what's going to piss me off the most is that I'm here waiting for him. I have my daughter waiting in her room by the window because they're by the door. And he's not even going to show up. And then it's going to say that he attempted to deliver. And this is like the third time. So if this time he doesn't deliver, I'm going to have, I'm going to lose that package. And I have no idea who it's from. So, yeah. I'm kind of mad about that. And nothing has been done, and I don't even want to say anything, to be honest with you guys. <sighs> Anyways, going with my blush, Mark, the Marc Jacobs one. This one is in Lines and, and Last Night. It's a like, corally one. I'm going to apply this to my cheeks. I really like corally blushes. I don't know why. Just do that. Make sure that it's really nice and blended. Okay. And then for highlight, I wanted to try this new one from... Well, it's not a new one, but I haven't used it. This one is for Morphe. It's, a lit, it's called Lit. And I haven't used it. I swatched it right now. And I was like, okay, maybe we could try that. Try something different. I'm going through like all my new stuff that I have. Like not new stuff, but stuff that I haven't used. So I can film videos because I feel like everything I use is kind of the same thing. I just put my brush here and I don't even know where it's at now. Um, where is it? I just put it in here. I hate when I lose my brushes. I need to kind of coordinate them to like what each brush is for and separate them because now I lost the brush. And I just put it here. So great. Great. Wait, is it this one? No. 
Great. I must be blind. Anyways, I'm just going to go with this brush. This one doesn't have a brand. I got this like a long time ago when I recently started doing YouTube videos. But it's a nice fluffy brush. And I'm probably guessing it's Morphe too because I don't even know. But yeah, so it's a fluffy brush. I'm going to dip it into Lit for Morphe. You can hear the kids coughing. Can you hear that? So I'm just going, ooh, okay, okay, lit. I see you. I see you, lit. Guys, you see guys see this? Okay. Whoa. I'm gonna blend that out in a bit, but oh my god, do you guys see this? Very fucking pigmented, bro. Holy fucking moly. Dude, look at this shit. <laughs> oh, fudge. Alright, I'm fucking shook right now, honestly. I'm very fucking shook. Lord. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Fudge. I'm shooketh right now. Shooketh! Alright. Whoa. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, Lord. Whoa. Alright. That was lay from Morphe. Definitely check this out. I think they're like $12, guys. $12 for freaking highlight. Definitely get one. And then if you use my code in store or online, you definitely get a discount. So get on it because, oh shit. So anyways, I'm still shooketh. Shooketh, okay? I don't know what I want to do. Oh, my eyebrow got messed up. I don't know what to do. You guys have been loving me doing um, makeup looks with the Jaclyn Hill um, palette. But I think I want to try something different. I don't know. Alright. So I went and I guess I decided to... What do I have in my hair? I decided to... Um, lint, really? Um, to use a... James Charles palette. <laughs> so I came up with this look. I mean, I haven't done a Valentine's Day look, and it's almost Valentine's Day, so I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a Valentine's Day look. Um, it's very pretty. I love it. So I really hope you guys like it. I don't know. I just winged it. I had no idea what I wanted to do, so I went and I got glitter, and I applied glitter, so yeah. So I don't know. Okay. Anyways, so I'm just using the James Charles palette for those of you that have it. If not, you can use whatever you guys have at home. Um... I didn't want to use it because I know it's sold out and a lot of people don't have it, but ah, I have to use it, right? All right, so I'm going to be using three to four colors. It was a simple look, you know, so I'm going to start off with this pink shade right here. It is very, very pigmented, so I'm definitely going to get my lids um, stained. I know that for sure. So I'm going to grab some setting powder and I'm going to apply this under the eyes because if it, because of the fallout and everything, I don't want it to stain my makeup. So I'm going to have to redo my highlight because of the setting powder. So I'm grabbing a brush and I'm grabbing, I have no idea. This one doesn't have a name either, but Morphe has a bunch of them. So definitely can check Morphe out for some fluffy brushes grabbing that pink shade first and i'm going to apply this on my crease like i said it is very pigmented guys so yeah definitely you will get stained and it's normal to get stained a lot of people freak out about it it's like normal like red stains my lids a lot and purple sometimes and the pink definitely stains my lids but it's okay it'll go away don't worry so i'm just going to apply this here and i do like to take my time with it because i like to know where i'm placing my color so you can definitely take your time i'm gonna go with the lighter pink this one right here and i'm just gonna use that to blend out 
the harsh line. This palette is so big that I'm, th I'm dropping stuff, so. Um, just going to use it to blend out that pink from up here. So I'm just blending. I'm going to go back with another brush to blend this out because I feel like this is too big to do that. So what did I do after? Because I forgot. Oh, right. So I'm going to... Not this, not this brush. Where's the other brush? Um, right here. I'm going to grab this color. I don't know what color this is. Like a burgundy color. No, it's not burgundy, but it's like a... I don't know. Huh? Maybe burgundy, but I mean, it's not really that burgundy. So I'm going to apply this right here in the outer corner. And then apply it right on the crease as well. So just making sure that the color's in the outer corner and I'm bringing it away to it. Um, because I really just want the colors to be like in the outer corner. So you want to make like a V and then blend this in here. And then just go back and kind of do that. If you feel like you kind of went a little too much, you can go back with that same pink and just help it blend out. That's all I wanted, a little bit. Then I'm going with a flat brush. This is the Morphe M166 brush. And if you can get your hands on a bunch of these, definitely do it. They're worth it. I love these brushes. I'm definitely going to go get more because they're my favorite. Um, so let me just kind of clean it a little bit because it does have like glitter. I'm going to grab that light pink that I used to blend out the crease color. And I'm going to use this to apply color right on the lid. This is the lid color. I just want to place a color on there before I apply glitter just so that if it peeks through you can see that there's color under there so yeah so just apply this color there it's okay if it got messy we're going to apply purple there so I'm going to grab another Morphe brush and I'm going to grab the purple shadow from the palette and I'm just going to pat the purple right in the outer corner Just like so. Then go back with that same brush that we used, the pink one. And just kind of blend that out. You just don't want it to be a little too crazy, but you want it to be there, so. And we can just go back and blend it. And like I said, any follow that falls is going to fall on the powder. And then when we clean it out, it'll be gone. So, to apply my glitter, I'm using the LA Splash Till Midnight Eyeshadow Primer Water Resistor. This is a use for the glitters that they sent me a while back. So, I do have like another one, but I can't find it. Uh, NYX has one. MAC had one. It was like a little squeezy bottle thing, but I think they discontinued that I have it, but I don't want to use it because, you know. So, I'm just going to grab a little bit of that product onto my brush and then I'm just going to place that onto the lid you kind of want to keep your eye open and I'm using uh, eye candy cosmetics glitter it doesn't have the name they sent me these a while back before they even started putting the names on them so I don't know I will tag them and hopefully they can tell me what color this is because it's so pretty I'll I'll, sh I'll show you guys in a little bit up front what it looks like because I know they have a lot of glitters so whatever uh, fallout of the glitter it's going to happen on the on the powder so I did bring it up a little bit so when I close my eyes you can still when I open my eyes you can still see it so just wanted to bring it up a little bit so you're able to see it all right, so for under the eyes, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to grab the pink shadow and the purple shadow. First, I'm going with the pink shadow. I'm using a Morphe M210 brush. And I'm just going to apply this on the bottom lash line. And I kind of like to pat it just so that I don't go overboard because sometimes they're uneven because I kind of go way too low on one eye. And then I have to go back and fix the other eye. So it's kind of hard for me to to even them both out so I'm just all right and then I like to go back with a pencil brush morphe m431 
And I'll grab the purple one and apply this in the outer corner. As close as you can to your lash line. Oh, I dipped it into the pink. Damn it! Um, as close as you can to your lash line. And I'm bringing it midway, not all the way. Then I grab my pink again and then kind of blend that out. Okay. So for the inner corner highlight, I'm going with um, the Morphe Lit because I was very shooketh. And then I was like, you know what? I gotta add it. You guys can see it's freaking popping. So I applied a little bit of setting spray to the Morphe M222 brush. 222 brush. And I'm going to give it in here. I apply this right in the inner corner. This is going to be my highlight. Alright, so for lashes, I'm going with my Coco Lashes and Goddess. And I have to get a new ones because I left the other ones in the car. And I hate wasting lashes, so I'm definitely going to have to go get those in the car and then kind of still use them. Alright, so I cut off a little bit from the outer corner. You can cut some from the inner corner, wherever you guys feel more comfortable. You can definitely do that. I'm going to apply my eyelash glue onto the lid. So I like to wiggle them a little bit like this, just so that it starts getting like into my shape of my eye. Because the band is kind of like, it gets stiff. And you want to be able to have it to be flexible. So I kind of like to wiggle it. Make sure that it's, you know. I'm going to grab my mirror. Go ahead. As close as you can to your real lashes, guys. You don't want to have a gap between them. So I'm just going to push them. Kind of let them dry a little bit. So I decided for lips, I just kind of wanted to keep it glossy. No, nothing on it. Like, no, doing it pink as well. So I'm going to use my MAC Cream Sheen in Boy Bait. Just apply this to my lips. And I did apply a little bit of the uh, highlighter lid on my lips. Just a little bit so it kind of had like a little gleam to it. Alright. So once they're done, I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara. And then I just need to go back and apply a little bit more highlight over here. Because once I apply the setting powder, I kind of removed it. So all oh, the eyelash is still kind of wet. It still kind of moves a little bit. So that's how you know it's, it's still wet. So I got to let that dry more. So I'm going to go back and apply a little bit more of the highlighter. Because it's still there, but not as much as I want it. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to leave me a like in this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment because I want to read your comments. And don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot if you guys do. I want you guys part of my Taco Fan Bam family. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. I love you guys so much. Bye. Lesson. She gave everything, she was such a blessing But from day to day, she would change her way Give me her love, then she'd take it away Take it away, take it away Just like